Yes, wait, hold well, here to yell. Let's go over here. Yes, go ahead. Uh -huh. Why Poseidon is Percy's dad? Well, I thought Zeus would be too obvious. Everybody always wants to be Zeus's dad, and that would be too easy on Percy. So I figured if he was the son of the second most powerful god, he'd have to try harder. Plus, I just like the idea of the ocean. I thought that would be a really cool thing. Let's go back over here in the black shirt. Yes, sir. What does the movie come out? The movie, the Lightning Thief movie, comes out February 12th, 2008. But I will relate the story. Last month I was on tour. I was uh, going all over the country and I went up to Vancouver and I was on the set for the Lightning Thief movie. It was really cool. They showed me this big warehouse with all the props and all the sets. I walked into the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art right there in Vancouver. They reconstructed the entire thing. And then at night they put me in this van and they drove me out into the woods and it was really misty and foggy and we came over the top of this hill and there was a bonfire down in the woods that was literally as tall as this building and down in the valley were all these cabins with banners for all the different cabins and there were 300 actors in Greek armor milling around it was like I was driving into Camp Half-Blood it was really cool I got to meet uh, the kid who's playing Percy Jackson, his name is Logan Lehrman. I got to meet the girl who's playing Annabeth, her name is Alexander Diario. And I got to meet the director, Chris Columbus. He's the one who did the first two Harry Potter films. He's the one that's directing The Lightning Thief. It was very cool. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to come out in February. Yes, right here. Go for it. Favorite character out of all the books, hard to pick. If I had to pick somebody, I'd say Tyson the Cyclops. Just because he's so funny. He makes me laugh every time I write about him. He's good. Yes, in the stripes. Go ahead. What about Nico? You mean, will you see him again? Yeah, uh, well, he's going to be around. Nico is another one of my favorite characters, the son of Hades. Yes, he, we're not done with Nico. You will see him again. Right here. Would I ever do a prequel, like, about the old days with Thalia and, and Luke and all the... It's a great idea. I've thought about it. I don't know. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get to write that story as a separate story. I, do, I don't know yet whether... Yes, sir, toward the back. Do I ever feel like I have to make it a, a certain number of pages? No, you know, it's funny. I, the books that I write, they just sort of come out the length that I write them. And I know different writers have different preferred lengths. I don't know why, but that just seems like the right number of pages for me to tell a story. I've never felt any pressure about that or, or anything like that. It's just sort of the way the story comes out for me. So, right here, yes. Why was Tyson claimed by Poseidon? I just thought that would be really funny if, if Percy woke up one day and found out he has a brother who's a monster. And how, how would you deal with that? Uh, and you know, Tyson just became one of my, my favorite characters. Yes, ma'am. I think, what's the difference between writing for adults and writing for kids? I think for writing for kids, you have to be a better writer. Because, you know, kids really, they, they're not going to be patient if you get off track and you write a story that's boring. They're going to let you know. Uh, and so I really have to be conscious that I'm telling the best story I possibly can. So that, that I think, is the big difference. Let's get one more for now. Yes, sir, in the black shirt right over there. Yeah. It, is the main character going to be the son of Poseidon in the next series? No, probably not. I, I know who the main characters are, and there's going to be more than one. It's going to be like a group of characters, uh, but I can't really tell you any more than that. Yeah. I will tell you one other thing before, uh, before we get to the signing portion here, and that is, thanks to you guys, three years ago, the last time I was in uh, the Phoenix area, somebody asked me a question. They said, are you ever going to do, write a book that's not about the Greek mythology? It's about some other mythology. Because there's a lot of other really cool mythologies. And I started thinking about that. That was in the back of my mind for a long time. And, you know, when I was teaching social studies in middle school, there was only one kind of mythology that was more popular than Greek and Roman mythology. Does anybody want to guess what it was? What do you think? 
Bingo, Egyptian. And so you guys, this time next year, next spring, get ready, because the gods of Egypt are invading the modern world. That's, that's the book I'm working on right now. I'm having so much fun with it. It's really amazing. I hope you guys like it when it comes out. Well, if you didn't get to, to ask a question in the big group, don't despair. If you have any question that you'd like to ask me as you come through the signing line, you are totally welcome to do that. But I know we got a big group and we don't want to keep everybody out too late tonight. So we're going to go ahead and start the signing. I'm going to turn it back over to Rachel. Thank you guys very much. Line up by the front door. 